Good morning, welcome back. Number two. And we got 752 hours. And these batteries were replaced back in September 29th, 30th. Um, right off the top, I do see decent amount of voltage. Okay. And I'm not sure if this is the one that has the runtime issues, but I'm gonna look at both sides of the battery, battery pack that is. So this one battery here is 13.1. And we're gonna check the second battery here. About the same. Now, the one thing that I can do here is run some devices and check and see how fast the discharge is on the battery pack itself. So um, let's uh, let's put the deck down and then we're gonna run the back motor and we'll do that here. Let me set it up real quick. That's an issue with bearings on this one, and um, shouldn't be that loud of a noise pitch. Now, on this machine here, we just got through doing the deck. This is number one, so this one is is screaming now. Times I've seen where. When they're rinsing off the uh, deck, which they shouldn't be doing from up here, they should be wiping it. Um, so here's evidence telling me that they're running a water hose over the top and rinsing off the pad drivers that way instead of taking the pad drivers off. So um, that is one issue I see right there. Okay, I got a couple other findings I'd like to look around the machine a little bit, but looks like we have a decent uh, gasket for the lid, that's fine. But I would like to see them actually leave it open so we can get some air into the vac motor area. Also, they should be cleaning this. They'll get more water lift if they keep this clean. And they should also be, instead of just dumping from the hose just rinse it rinse it with hot water if you don't have a high pressure hose just get your hand in there you know with a scrub scrub pad and just keep it clean that's all and then you also as an added bonus you want to run this vac motor for a couple minutes to get all the moisture out i want to replace this hard cover with the rubber yellow rubber i think it's blue now too it's a softer rubber, it's not as brittle. And sometimes when they don't take this off, they end up having to use a tool and try to force it up or break the tab. So I'm gonna suggest that. I found another issue that offsets the weight of the machine and the squeegee blade wear and tear is the casters. Those need to be tightened up on both sides. Also, they're not, um, cleaning their solution filter, what's gonna happen since they're not draining their tanks and doing any maintenance, this filter is gonna get clogged with decayed solution and it's gonna limit the amount of um, solution coming out. Also, another thing they need to pay attention to, nobody does, is this debris that's stuck in here. So after so many hours, What's happening, what I believe is the threaded shaft on here has been worn out so badly, we're gonna need to replace those casters. And the bearings are not even getting a chance to dry properly. Another issue is the wiring block inside the terminal block for the E-stop has become loose 
and a lot of times that will happen. Um, the decal here has been warped, so we'll see about getting this repaired.